ARC delegation led by Simon Akwe accompanied the government officials and UNDP representatives to witness the milestone of development of infrastructure by the nationalists for the first time since the suppression of South Sudan from Sudan. South Sudan experienced its first infrastructure development since the independence of the country on Jubobor Malakal Highway. The speedy development of the highway is done by the National Construction Company, ARC, which is expected to finish by 2023 as is stated. So the, the material will be traveling from here all the way there, then the trucks will be fed from inside here. Yeah. Upon his visit to the site, the Minister of Roads and Bridges, Honorable Simon Miyak Mijuk, said about 20 kilometers of the work has finished from Bajur to Mangala. Despite of conflict that caused destructions and displacements of people from the country, ARC was resilient in the construction of Jubabor Malakal Highway. This morning I have the opportunity to visit uh, Jubabor Road with Honorable uh, Deng Dao, uh, Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation. And also we have uh, a special guest, uh, Ms. Uh, 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 Christy uh, Kora, uh, Deputy Resident of UNDP in South Sudan. The purpose of the visit is to uh, see the progress of work uh, done for the last two months by ARC, the contractor, as well as to avail an opportunity to our guests uh, to come and see for herself the program, uh, development program of South Sudan being implemented by the government. Uh, Yuba Bo Road is 200 kilometers. Uh, only in one year there has been tremendous and massive work uh, implemented by the contractor. I'm happy uh, to pass also to ARC workers who are working uh, even during the holiday, uh, the greetings of His Excellency, uh, our President, uh, Salva Kir Mayadit, uh, Christmas greeting uh, for the entire uh, working team uh, on the project. Um, I'm also observing uh, great work uh, in terms of uh, equipment, and this is uh, part of the uh, development agenda of the government to encourage the local components, uh, local companies to come up and take the job. Uh, thank you very much. The Deputy Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Honorable Deng Dao Deng, said, despite of COVID-19 pandemic, development is going on along Jubabor Malakal Highway. This is a very special day for us after the Christmas and we have chosen to come today here as a good reflection of year 2020 and to show the seriousness of our government, the government of South Sudan, under His Excellency President Salva Kir Mayadid, and the revitalized transitional government of national unity. After the formation of government, we have said we must move to work. Our country have left behind seven years we have been fighting, and seven years we have been searching for peace. But peace without work cannot proceed, and it cannot be a peace dividend to the citizens of South Sudan. And so this road is significant to us as a country. It is a project of His Excellency the President, a project of oil for infrastructure for road, and this shows that the government itself is very committed. And we are asking our partners to join us for them to be able to see by themselves what the government is doing. We are locked in in Juba, and we have been talking about negative things about South Sudan. The image of our country outside has not been very fair enough. And so if we have come today and see this piece of work, it shows that we are serious, and our Minister of Road is a great person with his team. The significance of this road is the Northern Corridor Road, the linking most of the African countries, the southern part of the Africa, uh, to North Africa. 
and it will pass through South Sudan. Today we have witnessed how the local population along this road are benefiting. Those who are taking their product to town, you know, we have just used a motorbike. We have used a small facilities to go to town. It has improved their life. UNDP has been helping us on recovery program. He has been helping on most of the project in the Republic of South Sudan. And so it was not a coincidence that uh, the deputy rep, she was here with us on the holiday to come and see and share with us this particular work. I want to congratulate the team of ARC. They, have beg they begin work at six and they end at 10. We have been, lab we have been labeled that South Sudanese are lazy. We are telling the world, no, we are not. It is you who just want to assign us a negative naming. But our people are, are hardworking people. And so today we are grateful that we have seen this piece of land. And we are thankful to the local population that gave along a big way, a big land for road to pass by. We want to thank the community of Bari that are here and they have facilitated the work of ARC to move. And so we are very grateful and we say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. A year of work, a year of peace, a year that will see a great change in the Republic of South Sudan. Thank you very much. On high statement to the media, the representative of the UNDP, Christy Ahenkor, obliged the company for the work done. Uh, it's a great privilege and honor for me uh, to join the Honorable Minister for Road, Honorable Simon and Honorable uh, Dendao, who is a very good friend and brother of, uh, of mine. Uh, he's been our chief indicator. And so even though today was a holiday when he said we should come and see the Juba Bo Road, I said, of course, I would come because this was also an opportunity to see what is going on outside of Juba. And I want to really commend his Excellency, the President, and his team for the great work being done. And particularly, it's heartwarming to know that this road is being done with South Sudan's own resources, the monies from their oil revenue. And that is what I want to applaud the government on. I understand this road stretches all the way. This is the first part of a road that goes all the way to Malacca. And as the minister said, this is part of South Sudan's own commitment to the Trans-African Highway. And this is what would give meaning to the African free trade. Because we are saying that as Africans, normally we are either importing or exporting. We are not linking each other to each other in, in, in within the continent. So, but when you don't have infrastructure, how does anybody travel through? So the fact that South Sudan has taken on this challenge. It's true this is a conflict that has seen many years of conflict. It, uh, there's uh, a lot of disasters, whether it's flooding or locusts. But a, this demonstrates a commitment that the country is ready to move from the conflict into development. Uh, there's a lot of humanitarian assistance to South Sudan, but we all agree that it's the time to move and strengthen the humanitarian peace and development nexus, because humanitarian assistance cannot grow a country. It will sustain people in difficult times, but we need to shift the debate to development. So for me, this is a clear testimony of the development, and I really want to encourage government to keep that trajectory, because that is what will let people, whether in Bo or in Malacca, out of Juba, know what it means, what the peace agreement means to the average South Sudanese. Because yes, a peace agreement is signed, People sit and look in their, their nice shoes like Honorable Deng is looking now and sign paper. But when I live in Malakal or, or I will, what does it mean for me? And it's only if I see things like this, which will enable me to bring my produce from my farm to the market, to go to the hospital quickly if I need to, to come to Juba if I need to. That is what will make me have patience that yes, the peace process is slow, but it will, it will make a difference in my life. So this is a good evidence of transformation. And I really want to applaud the ACT team 
the amount of energy, I mean, this is 26, you would expect that people will be home, but we see people working here. And also particularly the fact that about 80% of their labor force are South Sudanese is a big plus. Because this, the issues of unemployment and when youth are unemployment, unemployed, they would go and cause mayhem. But if you have things like this going on, and I know from six, I can come and earn my money. Why would I go and fight somebody else? I don't have time for fighting because I know I'm, I'm collecting garouche, garouche into my pocket. So, you know, so this for me is a good testimony. And we are currently at the quarry site where the company is setting up a whole infrastructure for turning the good granite, which, is, which are part of the mountain sides of uh, Juba into something that can be used. This all shows the wealth of South Sudan. So I really, and I'd asked, uh, we, are use, we are doing asphalt and it uses bitumen and bitumen comes from oil and we are producing oil. But sadly, we are importing. So I'm looking forward to the day when we go to the road and we say, you know what, the granite, the bitumen is all made in South Sudan. Well, so once again, thank you for the opportunity. Congratulations. Shokran Jazilan. I wish everybody, <laughs> I wish everybody a great uh, new year. I know that 2021 will be different from South Sudan. Inshallah, we are not going to have any conflict and we are going to move uh, uh, into the development trajectory. The peace process would hold, the government will be strengthened, and South Sudanese will know that this is a real a country, a different country. Thank you all so very much. The construction of Jubaboro Malakal Highway has great impact in terms of security to the communities which allow them to set up business by the roadside and earn their living. Uh, my name is Simon. I am the senior coordinator of ARC, African Resource, Resources Corporation, that is uh, contracted by the government of South Sudan to be able to implement this project between uh, Jubaboro Ayut, Malakal, and Rang. Uh, our appreciation goes to the delegations led by the Minister of Road and Bridges, Honorable Simon Majuk, uh, our Deputy Minister of uh, Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, and our colleague from the UNDP, uh, Christy. We, we appreciate the support that is being given by the government, and we'll continue to do our best uh, as South Sudanese on the road to, to achieve what we fought for. We believed this is the peace dividend that we want to see. And so many other roads in the country, I believe they will be constructed. Uh, what we all need from our people and our government and everybody else within the borders of South Sudan is the support to be able to implement this project. When this project is achieved, as uh, our colleague said, there will be no fighting. Because why should I fight? Why should I follow somebody? Uh, if I have an opportunity to do farming. This afternoon when we were moving, you saw a number of uh, trucks moving with watermelon. There are a big farm of watermelons right here across the hill. And uh, people who are doing it are making a living because they are taking it to Konya Konya market and they sell it at wholesale. And those who are in Juba who cannot move here, they are doing a retail out of it. That is already a chain of distribution of what is being produced here. Our population has increased on this road and the community is very supportive of the development project that they are saying this is what we have been waiting for. And they have been very cooperative from Juba all the way to Bor. Everyone is excited about what is going on. So we want to promise you, as the government does its part uh, of delivering this project, we are also ready to implement what the government required us to do. And we continue to thank the, our Ministry of Road and Bridges especially the minister, and we all appreciate our president for all the support that we need. Let us build South Sudan. This is, let us not fight South Sudan. Let us build it. And I think it's better for us that way. And uh, we will continue to be here. Anybody who is uh, thinking that nothing is going on, please behave like our dignitaries today. You come. Come and see it by yourself and write your report. Give it to the minister. The minister will inform us. But don't sit in Juba and you start telling us X and Y that does not exist here. You know, they won't add up. So we thank the government and we will continue to pray that God give us peace in 2021. God keeps South Sudan peaceful. And those who are thinking otherwise, please join the peace process. Let's build our country. Thank you. 
African Resource Corporation Company is the leading national construction company in South Sudan. Jennifer James, Delco Media, Juba.